Good morning, traders. Well, US dollar sold off in Tuesday's session uh, after traders returned from that holiday break there. Uh, dollar index falling to for a fifth straight session after finding stiff resistance to that psychological 105 level last week. Um, breaking below its 100-day moving average, we're finding a bit of support that 200-day moving average. Uh, it did retrace later in the session as risk sentiment soured during the US uh, equity session, especially lower bond yield, I mean, lower yields on bonds, um, but we saw bonds bid actually ahead of that FOMC minutes today. Uh, Canadian dollar was a G10 underperformer uh, after Canadian CPI came in much softer than expected. So US CAD breaking above 135 and looking to test that 50% FIB level there at 135.41. Uh, futures pricing of Bank of Canada rate moves are repriced um, very dovishly too on the back of that CPI reading along with that along with a drop in oil prices really hitting the Canadian dollar there. Aussie Kiwi dollar saw gains against the US dollar you know, mostly in the APAC session after the larger than expected uh, cut to the five-year LPR by the People's Bank of China. Uh, a stock sell-off later in the US session saw some of those gains you chase with Aussie US hitting resistance at that 50% FIB level, unable to hold above the 200 day moving average either. So Kiwi dollar did outperform the Aussie in the end. So it saw the Aussie Kiwi cross drop for a third straight session to hit a one week low at around 106.13. So today ahead for Aussie watchers, we do have that key wage price um, data as well.